I think that driver has stopped for me. I think maybe he's thinking I'm going, uh, let me see, maybe he's going to Tom's. If he is, that would be great, man. Let me try him. Because you can see I'm a foreigner. A black guy in Marinsk. I must be the only one. This just shows you how nice people are in Russia. Look, he stopped for me. He stopped there. So I'm just rushing for him. So my camera might be a bit bouncy, but it's okay. I didn't even stop him, you know. So this is gonna be great. Let's see what he says. Привет! Hello, hello, hello. Where are you? Where? Yeah, where? 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 Okay, yes, 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 let's take a photo, come. Uh, <laughs> okay, I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh, that's super, man. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I didn't mean it. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> That does look like an accident. Siberia, severe accident here. Say hello. Hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> hello. Hello. That's Boris. He, he drives from Krasnoyarsk to um, Ah, Krasnoyarsk to Achinsk. Achinsk. At Achinsk. 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 Yeah, ah. he drives yeah. Krasnoyarsk to Achinsk. And uh, that's like 150 kilometers. He stopped and gave me a ride. And Jenshina uh, Deity, yes. Oh, uh, one. Adin. Oh. Adin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's great. Wow. And uh, Dumoy, Dumoy, Krasnoyarsk. That. Oh, his home, his home is in Krasnoyarsk. He lives in Krasnoyarsk. All ah, right. Yeah, it's a Yeah, it's a Yeah, super. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, we are traveling again and doing very well. I took two days off traveling while staying at Oleg's house. And uh, now I feel much better because my voice was um, a bit bad and the cough and uh, you know, it was pretty bad. The headache was killing me. But now I'm a bit better. I can't stay in bed for too long because I need to keep moving to complete this journey which has been a wonderful, wonderful journey. Really love, really love it and loving it and loved it. Um, met some wonderful Russian people. A bit colder here. Uh, you look at the road, you can see the snow almost all over the place, but it's not like covering the place. When it's like this, it's colder. When it's plenty of snow, it's harder to eat, but it's warmer. Now I'm traveling with Igor, who gave me a ride from Atkinsk all the way to Mariansk, Mariansk, Mariansk or Tomsk, any, any of the two will do, because uh, my destination today is Tomsk. Igor, say hello and привет. Привет, привет. Yeah, that's Igor. It's gone. It's gone a bit cold right now, and I'm in a little town or a little this little town is called Marinsky it's quite small so from here I need to hitch a ride to Tomsk but one thing in this trip is that I have really really challenged myself to levels beyond my comprehension can you believe that and I've loved it I've loved it because I've learned a lot about my body and the past two days I had to take a rest because my mind wanted to continue the strong will in me wanted me to continue the determination was driving me 
to keep going but every time I get up my body said not today mate so yesterday I spent the whole day just lying down at my friend's flat and that was okay because now I feel much better I have recovered in a very big way I think that driver stopped for me I think maybe he's thinking I'm going uh, let me see maybe he's going to Tom's if he is that would be great man let me try him because guess I'm a foreigner a black guy in Marinsk I must be the only one okay video okay Okay. Say hello! Uh, light, light maybe. Hello. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. My friend, uh, uh, how are you? Sanya. Sanya. Sanya, that's Sanya? Denis. Uh, Denis. Oh, Denis and Sanya. Marinsky. Marinsky. Yeah. Oh, oh Dimoy Marinsky. Yeah. And Raboti Tuda. Yeah. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy, they just gave me a ride. They saw me walking. I was busy um, making my um, video about this little town of Marinsky and they stopped and gave me a ride. Absolutely great. I didn't even ask for the ride and that was brilliant. It just shows how nice Russian people are. You see, if you smile with them, you talk with them, they will help you. If you don't, they won't bother you. It's as simple as that. So now, um, they are not going far, but where they are going to leave me, I will be able to get another car to Tomsk. And my friend Vladimir is waiting for me in Tomsk. So let's keep on going with my two friends, Denis, Denis on this, yeah, that's Denis there. And Sanya, Sanya, Sanya. okay, Sanya is, is the driver. Spasibo Balshoi, as they will say. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. This has been great, guys. I'm traveling tonight with um, a lovely gentleman. Uh, his name is Andre. He gave me a ride just uh, 10 kilometers away from um, Meninsk. Meninsk. It's like 8 p.m., so he gave me an hour, a ride an hour ago. I was all alone there, and then these guys stopped and some of their friends came and stopped. There were like eight guys. Imagine that, in Russia. And they asked me, can we help you? I said, oh, that's fine, we can stand here together. And said, but what are you doing here? You're the only brother, what are you doing? I said, I'm hitchhiking, I gotta get to Tom's. And they invited me, said, no, come and stay with us. And, and I said, no, I need to get Tom's because my friend is waiting for me there. And I need to get there. So w that shows you that the stereotype that we are led to believe of how bad Russian people are or how racist they are, it's not true. I'm afraid it is not true. I mean, I wasn't worried when uh, so many guys stopped, maybe there were six or eight, I wasn't worried. And, but they did ask me one question. They said, ain't you afraid? I said, no, I'm not afraid because if I'm afraid, I wouldn't be traveling, I wouldn't be doing this. But there's no point for me to be afraid. Well, what should I be afraid for? And I said, but the, um, the West and the media always talk of Russia as very bad and people are scared of coming here. And I said, no, I'm here not to find out, but I'm here to explore uh, Russia for myself and to challenge myself. I'm not here looking for trouble. I'm just here trying to understand Russian people and trying to learn more about Russian people. And so far, everything has been splendid, it has been brilliant. So the guy stopped there and said, can we help you get a ride? I said, yep. But I said, if it's a lot of us, the drivers might not want to stop because they might be thinking, oh, what's going on there? Oh, anyway, so we we're chatting and everything, we exchanged numbers, I took photos, and then Andre stopped and he was going to Tom's. And here I am. So don't be afraid of anything more especially when you come to russia russia is okay russia is safe for you brother for you sister for you mom for you dad grandpa granddad it does not matter if you are black or yellow or green russians don't look at you that way because they are a multicultural society in Yakutia, they have a lot of um, 
Asian looking people and those people are not Asian but they're Russians so what we hear it's not true I have been all over Russia I've hitchhiked Dagestan no problem I've hitchhiked Chechnya all the way to Grozny no problem I've hitchhiked Ingushetia Ossetia I've hitchhiked all the way to Nalchik to Mount Elbrus and then I went across Nadar across Nodar and I went to Petergorsk, Rostov on Don, Moscow. From there, I even tried the Russian longest train ride from Moscow to Vladivostok, which took me 9,288 kilometers. And still, they treated me very, very well. But the only problem is the language. Most places in Russia, they don't speak English. It simply does not exist. So all I'm saying is, teach yourself just a little bit of Russian. It's not hard to learn. I mean, I learned very quickly when I was in the train because I love socializing with people. And if I didn't learn, I wasn't going to talk to anyone. I was just going to be stuck, you know, like an idiot. But I did very well. And they really appreciated it when they realized that I was trying and I was learning. But always be prepared that they will ask you um, whether you're afraid of Russia or not because they're always worried of this stereotype which, which has been played against them, that they are so bad, and, but it's not like that. I'm not saying the country is perfect. No, of course there's criminality here and there. If you don't start trouble, they're not gonna bother you. It's only when you start trouble, then they realize that you are a different race. Isn't that amazing? Andre, you wanna say привет? Yeah, Okay, yeah, he just said previous, but he's driving. He gave me a ride. Imagine that at night, you know. I had no choice because I left early, but I got here late because I got um, a truck, um, but trucks don't go very fast. This is a seven hours journey from Krosnayars to Tomsk, but the truck took like five hours, and I'm so grateful for everything that has happened because sometimes I just feel like the challenges that I've set myself somehow there's somebody high above who ticks the challenge a little bit harder maybe as a test to see if i will um overcome the challenge and i always do because when i set a challenge to myself i have to complete it i have to continue with it i have to execute every ounce of that in order to win it in order to be successful and you too can be successful at everything that you do i've said that in many of my videos that success is not only about money it's about succeeding in what you're doing and doing it to the to your level best and for that i am doing everything to my level best here you can see outside there's a lot of snow wow there's plenty of snow just look at the road sorry if the camera is shaking a little bit there's too much snow there Let's look at that guys plenty of snow but I'm safe and warm and tomorrow I will tell you more finally met up with my friend Vladimir and um, at this supermarket in Tomsk I'm in Tomsk right now with my good buddy Vladimir um, and we have just been getting some food but he helps at the festival he works there so now we're gonna go there. Maybe I'll get a chance to um, to see some shows. Who knows? Um, let's go, maybe, man. Maybe. Yes, maybe. Uh, Vladimir, you wanna say привет and hello? Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, taxi. Oh, you wait for taxi. Okay. Wait. So we wait for taxi here. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, we can wait here then. Yeah. Well, the traveling tonight has been wonderful and great. Uh, the snow eats a lot here. Krasnoyarsk, Sneg Nieto, no snow. See, this is what's happening in my traveling. I go to certain places, it's nice and dry, and then you go a thousand kilometers or 600 kilometers, and suddenly the place covered in snow. That's why um, my health is like up and down, uh, because sometimes you catch cold and then it goes, and then you catch it again, and 